Hey, welcome back. It's me, Abhishek Patel from Robust QA iTest Software. So, in our previous video, I have shown you how to configure the Playwright in VS Code, and I wrote the simple test uh, that will navigate to Expedia.com and assert that the title on the Expedia.com matches with the expected title. So, uh, this is another test that I recorded because Playwright apparently has a feature to record and replay the test or user action. So let me show you what I mean by that. So this is the URL that I'm going to use for our practice purpose. Okay. Uh, so now let me show you how to record and replay the test in uh, Playwright. It's very simple. So we have this npx Playwright and test to run the test. But instead of test, I'm going to replace with code gen. So this is the tool, code generation tool. So this tool will bring up a tool and as well as the website on which you want to run the user actions or you want to record user actions and generate the code. So npx playwright code gen and here I'm going to provide the name of the URL uh, on which I want to run this tool to record the user action. Hit enter and you will notice that it will bring up the browser, Chrome browser by default because that's what we have configured in our config file and this is the uh, code gen. So this is the URL and as you can see it also recorded the first test async page and wait page dot go to this URL. This is the tested URL. Cool, isn't it? Okay, so now here as you can see when I hover my mouse, it's also prompting the locators, right? And as you can also figure out that the locator that it's prompting are pretty much robust, right? It's not a, a absolute X path or thing like that. So here I'm going to click on the woman. So if you notice here, it also says that it clicked on the page dot locator uh, block menu text woman dot click, and as soon as you click, it's also adding the assertion to wait for a new page to load. And then I'm going to click on the tops, and uh, maybe I want to select the T-shirt. I'm going to click on the T-shirt, and uh, here. Uh, I want to click on add to cart. So here is a tricky thing. See, add to cart appears only when you hover your mouse on the product. Otherwise it won't appear. So I think we have to write this uh, script or action to hover the mouse on the product, right? But uh, I can click on the add to cart for now. So it is going to record that step as well and then just simply going to cross this out, okay. So that is it. Let's uh, copy the test. I'm going to copy the test and close this and uh, going to paste here. So I have a test ready like uh, test woman merchandise merch. Okay. And uh, our test is pretty much ready. So now let me save this first and let me try to run this. This should this will fail. The reason is it's not going to hover the mouse on the product uh, to add the uh, product into the cart, right? It's not going to do that. Okay, it's on a t-shirt page. And uh, yeah, as let's uh, see here in our, so see here it is waiting for add to cart. The reason is because it needs, it has to hover the mouse on the element. Otherwise, it will never able to find add to, add to cart, and that's why it failed, right? So we expected this failure. So let's fix this. It's pretty easy. In fact, very easy. Uh, yeah. So first, uh, let me go ahead here, and uh, let's first go to the tops, and here. The tops and this was the uh, object or this was the uh, web object we want to hover our mouse on so click on the selector hub and I am going to 
get the product image container so I'm going to hover my mouse on image container and it will bring up add to cart button and our test script will resume from that failed point right let me just simply copy this and uh, go back here and then uh, click before it clicks on add cart I want to write that hover mouse on product to make add to cart button visible and simply I'm going to write await page dot hover method and see it's a hover method now you may ask like where did I found this method from yeah page dot hover so this is page dot hover it takes selector right We'll simply go back to VS code and page dot hover and the locator on which you want to hover okay simply save it and all done now let's rerun this and see what happens okay now this time it should pass and hover okay and it pass see how easy it is you can also record and replay the test and based on what I'm looking at I can tell that the locator found by playwright are pretty much robust